Good morning. We had a pretty damn good night's sleep. Oh yeah, for, for sure. I slept in, and this is unheard of. I slept in until 8.15 this morning. I'm usually up at 5.30. We went to bed at nine because yeah. we have no power in the bus. And so we're like trying to conserve, conserve power. I would have extended our video into the evening just to kind of show what it was like, but you know, there's not too much to see naturally, but uh, it's dark in the bus. It is very yeah. dark in the bus. Like those curtains, man, they block out the light. That's for sure. Well, and, and uh, with limited battery power, um, you know, we were pretty much, we zonked right out and mm -hmm. I didn't, I did not flip. I, I think I, I think I turned twice in the middle of the night versus like every probably 30 minutes or less. Yeah. Uh, which is, of course, you know, sometimes wakes her up and, <sighs> uh, yeah, I slept. man, I cannot believe it. I'm just exhausted. And, um, and wow, what a comfortable, yeah, that bed is very, comfortable. <laughs> it's very comfortable. And then you combine that with, uh, because it's so dark in there that even like the cracks around the, uh, the blackout, uh, curtains, like even that, that light doesn't bounce around. So, uh, 10 out of 10 bedroom now. Yeah. And like the mattress is like soft in all the right places, but it gives enough support in all the right places. Like it just like my hugs arms don't you. fall asleep anymore. Yeah. 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 Well, they, part of it, I think, is that pillow top. So uh, if you're looking for a mattress, definitely look for that pillow top if uh, if you love yourself. Well, this morning we went out and uh, went to a coffee shop and uh, charged up my Mac, Emma's Mac, uh, our phones. Uh, the GoPro batteries for the most part, uh, I think they're charged up. I, we'll see, we'll see. And uh, so a little, little mooch charging, I think is what you call that. I mean, we paid for the coffee and the breakfast, so. Yeah, yeah. So now we're gonna go and uh, get some inspiration, some uh, uh, design ideas from uh, the wood merchant out here and just do a little browsing in some of the shops like we do. Uh, but we've got kind of a got kind of a vibe going right now, and uh, I'd like to either confirm or improve on our existing ideas. Yeah, would be nice. So yeah, let's go walk through the Connor. Ooh, look at these pretty flowers. Oh, I love that. Mm -mm. Lots of art out here for anybody. You know, I feel like. Hmm. Might have to do some more of our own paintings. Well, folks seem to like that. I don't know, I've seen a couple of your guys' comments. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> the wood merchant. Finely crafted furniture and gifts. Oh, and tiny ukuleles. Oh yeah. Okay, this definitely feels like something that we need. Lenny isn't complete without an eagle carving. Oh, right on the front dash. You know what? In the driver's seat. It deserves to drive. You should not sit on that. <laughs> oh, aren't these so pretty though? Look at... Oh, man. Yeah, it would be nice to have some pretty stuff like that. I'm afraid I would scratch it. Just looking at it wrong, but... Kind of reminds me of Bailey right there. Look at that really nice magnet from George. Oh, a little bit little, uh... <laughs> Yeah. God, look how pretty these are, though. Mm -hmm. Carved birds by Jean Boyd. Aren't, aren't these pretty? Look at that. I love me a good duck. I don't know what it is. I love me a good duck. These are cool. Yeah, simple. Little totems. We've shown these uh, a few times, but... Uh, I can't get enough of it, I'll tell you. Orcas, they got a few orcas actually. They make these chairs to fit your body, like they give you the right like rest in them for your arms and not just flat. It's a whole comfortable and beautiful furniture set. We could, we could never, but look at the, uh, kind of the epoxy, it looks like an epoxy feel like that. Reminds me of that table we did. Oh, yeah, we, I think we have to do. A picture of that somewhere? We should show them a picture of it because we yeah. talked about it a lot. Might have a photo somewhere, but it's so. Oh, we're gonna have to do another one. Lenny deserves it. Lenny the bus. God, it's like perfect fall. It all reminds me of like a beautiful fall, a nice, peaceful. Mm, I love these little lamps. Mesquite with turquoise and solid copper shade. 
And these, oh yeah, especially watercolors. We're gonna need a real durable table. Honey's a, yeah. It's a it's built to be durable. What a beautiful painting these are. I feel like we should uh, we should up our painting skills and do one of these on one of the side walls. Um, I don't think that we will ever be that good. <laughs> That's probably true. Oh. oh, what is this? Oh, I'm not sure what Oh, it's glass. That's cool. Super cool. And a beautiful bowl. Oh, look at that. How are those attached? Looks like there's two little points there, huh? Humpback Harmony. California Buckeye Burl. Wow. Cool. So cool. Wood, copper, and stone. Wall sculptures. Look at that. Too nice for me, but wow. so pretty. This is what your countertop should look like. Mm, that is nice. A little slight bit of stain and some uh, just some finish over it. That's cool. That's pretty. Now I find this interesting. Not just this. I love these lamps, but uh, they found this. Uh, I'm gonna guess it's a curly maple variety. And they go, wow, it's so beautiful. Frame it. And I agree. I love that. And absolutely my favorite painting here. Enchanted Waters. Mm. I just love it. And uh, there's more of that. I'm just, ooh, I love working with the epoxy. Shout out to uh, Emma's parents who did not mind us uh, <laughs> working uh, in the garage. First time we did epoxy and uh, they, did, they, uh, they were very supportive. We made a little bit of a mess and did our best to clean it up. I think we got most of it. We got most of it, most yeah. Of it. But, we just have like an orange layer of sawdust all over their stuff. But, yeah. Yeah, that was very nice. We did not do it out on carpet though. So. <laughs> no, we did it in the garage. <laughs> Look at this beautiful. This might be my second favorite. Isn't that Deception Pass? Yeah, that's Deception Pass. Or, yeah, the... But this this is also really Sit pretty. Stool. Look at that. Autumn shadows. Hmm. All right. Oh, it's a nice stool. Mm -hmm. It's a real nice stool. It's weird. So here's the trick. You have to carve for the cheek. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like you know, so it's got a raised area, right? So your legs naturally go. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna steal that idea and look at this beautiful these beautiful legs and it looks like uh, Whether or not they use screws. I bet they use screws, but they, they covered them up beautifully here So these folks know how to make a stool and I think they're a lot of this stuff is actually from I think Indonesia but, uh, I would love to hmm, Like I think we're gonna have to do shelves something like this this minus the sunset setting. Reminds me a lot of the uh, the drone shots from yesterday's video. Isn't that nice? This is a neat little shop here and I love this. It's a uh, driftwood and recycled glass. What about that for a uh, wind chime? That's cool. I'm gonna grab some lunch real quick from, what is this? The firehouse? The fire hall. The fire hall. <laughs> Of me. Also, yeah. But I am loving the vibes as well. Look at the, uh, they got some black and some shisugi bone, which uh, absolutely we're gonna do again. And uh, look at this little lamp. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, look at that. If you wonder why we enjoy Le Conner, it's uh, a lot of why. Even the chandelier, how cute is that? Yeah, I'm liking the little accents they've got going on here. Oh yeah, it's cool. Yep, we've done a few projects with uh, burnt wood, and, uh, and we've had some ideas for the copper though. Copper's copper piping, is expensive. so 
And maybe so that we add in more into the labor, like if I like to take the time and yeah. add it in. But how nice is it though? Mm. Oh my goodness, so, so good. Uh, I actually did not click until um, I was going to the restroom. I'm like, ah, there's a lot of like shisugi ban, which is essentially burnt wood, right? And, uh, and they call it the firehouse, right? Oh, <laughs> took, took me a minute. <laughs> Love it. Great food though, really good food. Lots of sauces, lots of sauces if you're a sauce fan. So we'll slink back slowly but surely. And I think we're gonna work on a project this afternoon. A little bit of an adjustment. And uh, I do think we're gonna you know, work a little bit slower for the next few weeks. Uh, just make sure we think, get things kind of dialed in. Uh, we're really feeling out the space now that we're gonna live in it. And we have to kind of keep in mind that the dogs are in the bus now too yep. while we're working. So we have to kind of be more mindful of how we're doing that so that the dogs are not. Uncomfy, yeah. Yeah. Disrupted too much. But uh, the other and the other thing is, it's so nice to be able to like, just step out of the bus, run the dog for half an hour or whatever, get them good exercise. It's just, it's so much easier uh, living mobile, yeah. I think. Plus great view, right? Like there's there's so many reasons to get out. Uh, I, I feel like we did not get out nearly as much. In the house? In no. the house, no. no. <laughs> We've been uh, hard at work on a little, uh, uh, building projects. This will be the first thing that we've really built inside. I guess that's not true. We've also done the uh, frame for the bed and yeah. a couple of, anyways, but the first thing that we're like building in, I, I, it feels like, but we, I also need to use the restroom, of course. So uh, if you're wondering how we're doing that, uh, around here in La Carter, there's like, there's a couple porta potties, there's like public restrooms, it's really nice. So we just use that as an excuse to take a break uh, and then go for a little little ride over. Yeah. And Emma goes, well, I was like, you want to go with? And she's like, oh, you know, if you want to get ice cream. Uh, I'm like, what? What? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to bribe me with ice cream. But uh, we did pick something up earlier after our uh, lunch. Some of you guys might appreciate. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Oh, I showed them this, uh, this magnet wall. And, uh, ah, everything's falling. Ah. But a uh, little nice addition for some of you guys. Might appreciate that. Um, our a little whale magnet and our uh, redwood. Uh, redwood magnet's right here. Oh, that's right there. Where's the whale? The whale is sitting up in the corner up there because it was jingling. Yeah, that one. We need to find a better spot for a safer spot. But this uh, one fell. That one fell. But I, I just feel like some of you guys might appreciate that. Yeah. Or so might well. not. <laughs> Honestly, though, if you can't handle a four-letter word, might not be the channel for you. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> pretty funny. I was looking for one that was black with white letters, but good enough. Really stands out. That's Joel's catchphrase. I don't know how she did it, but she suckered me into ice cream. <laughs> Look at her guilty face. <laughs> I am so, that was a lot of ice cream. Delicious. I want to show off this uh, little area to you guys. Part of La Connor. And not only these beautiful tulips and, uh, and these guys. Look at these. Aren't those so, oh, the best time of year to visit uh, La Conner and the surrounding area, Skagit County in general, but also check out this house. I think this is so interesting. So uh, they've got kind of like portholes here, right? But otherwise it kind of, porthole windows, I should say. Otherwise it kind of looks like a normal house, you know? Kind of cool, right? Just walk down this little path here and appreciate the, uh, the view on our way. Nice little bench along the way but uh take just a second we're gonna look up but looking up the uh, front of the house looks like a big old ship oh i can't tell because the trees hold on let me get uh, look closer uh, any better here yeah kind of see the uh the bow of the ship <laughs> isn't that kind of funny oh, i don't know i think it's interesting i like the uh, the round windows they've got everywhere I think there is an owl in there. Yeah, of course, he camera comes out. He quits hooting. But we're getting uh, somewhat of a sunset here. We've got some color. A little bit, right? <laughs> uh, sunsets on the west, which is that away. So that'll make it for this video, guys. Um, just uh, loving it. Just loving it. I've got our star horses out because tomorrow's video uh, we're working on a little bit of a project nothing too too impressive but uh, definitely uh, a good foundation for uh, some power 
little hint there. <laughs> we will also be taking off uh, tomorrow and uh, I get such a kick out of that. But we will be taking off tomorrow and we need to go a little bit east, grab some packages from a local uh, nearby city and then we'll actually go closer to the water. Uh, if you guys have watched our channel, this is kind of a little bit of a uh, trip we like to make pretty frequently because it's just so, I mean, like how do you say no to views and, you know, being on the water? There's something about you know, hanging out on the water like this. It was just, ah, oh, so nice. kind of nice just to sit and maybe it doesn't come through on video though I don't know but all you can do is try right all you can do is try but the dogs for those wondering the dogs are absolutely loving loving the bus so far and our little uh, magnets holding these guys that's working well um, our curtains are holding pretty well right yeah I gotta fix a couple of them but... just just to make some adjustments but yeah that's going well and yeah yeah folks walking by it's so weird you can see our uh, pothos right here in the in there folks walking by uh everybody has been oh that's so cool which i think is awesome like that's what one would hope for right but uh very 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 different reaction uh than we got with uh, bailey or our steam it's uh, a lot like what we got with with our uh, airstreams and uh which is cool that's a, you know, perfect right but i have to wonder is it because of like the ugly swoops i think they're ugly personally i think a lot of folks find them a bit unsightly but is that why is it just like oh it's a bus rather than a you know an rv you know like what is it i don't know i mean i, th I think we always subconsciously um, associate buses with you know school safety things like that whereas maybe there's a um, subconscious association uh, with either great outdoor camping that doesn't belong in cities or um, I mean if the, there's an RV in the city in the Pacific Northwest it's usually not a great thing right West Coast in general right it's unfortunately not a not always a great thing so uh, maybe there's that um, I don't know, uh, but the Airstream never had that reception. Uh, maybe there's a nostalgia, there's definitely a nostalgia there, a kind of a vintage, chic, whatever you want to call it. So maybe that's it, but uh, whatever it is, we're taking advantage of it. Okay, I had some son of a gun. <laughs> also, uh, I didn't really push uh, the idea too much, but uh, for a roll-on paint job that cost under 200 bucks, that is pretty awesome, I think. Like you don't, you can't get a paint job. 200 bucks not even at mako <laughs> especially not on something this large right uh and i think the results are pretty decent so toot my own horn here thank you guys for watching i was hoping for the sunset <laughs> it never came we'll see you in the next video bye